Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are some shifter romance recommendations. I love romance books that have shifters in them. They're really fun. They're paranormal or fantasy reads, sometimes even alien romances. So um, I'm really excited to talk about these books. This is my second shifter rec video. So I'll leave my other one linked down below if you want even more recommendations. The first one that I have is a whole entire series. I think I've only read three books in the series, but there are a bunch. I think there are seven or eight books in here. So I'm gonna mention just the first one. So the first one is Royal Dragon by Charlene Hartnady. I read these books, I think at the very beginning of my roommate's journey. These are dragon shifter romances where human women end up being fated mates to these dragon shifters who end up hunting them in this dragon hunt game. That's actually really fun. Um, I think they're really fun. I think the heroines are like terrified, but I think they're fun to read about. Um, but yeah, these dragons end up like, going on this quest to find women in the woods that are released into the woods and they find the, whoever they're like sent to like whoever calls to them their scent calls to them like that's their fate to me so all these men are dragon shifters and i think a lot of them deal also with like dragon kings so i think that this one is a dragon king i've read the water dragon one and i've read the other dragon one who's like the king of all the dragons including the other dragon kings so I think they're really, oh, there's a hair stuck. <laughs> I think they're really fun books and you don't get a lot of dragon shifter romances. Speaking of dragon shifter romances, I have Dragon Unleashed by Grace Draven. This book is stunning. Also the cover is stunning. Like look, the dragon is right there. She's laying on the dragon. Mm. This is the romance between Halani and Malakis. Halani is a witch and a healer and Malakis is a dragon shifter who is not able to shift. So this book starts out with Halani in, um, this kind of like market where her people are traveling in a caravan like they, their family travels in a caravan they're selling their goods at this market and um you got to read about her and her mother in book number one um who it's about a different couple but this is now her romance anyway so her mother her name is i think alice her mother has a mental disability and she always has she was assaulted years ago and that's how halani was born um but her mother has basically the mind of a child and one day her mother is walking around and she gets ridiculed by one of the boots and the hero hears this and kind of like swoops in to like save her mother essentially and halani is eternally grateful um because a lot of people would not do that for her mother anyway they kind of like part their ways she says thank you all that jazz they find each other very attractive and then a few hours later she's walking back to the caravan and she finds this man with arrows in him bleeding out almost dead she's like what happened so she ends up with the help of some of her people end up bringing him back to the caravan and he is gonna be on this journey with them while they're traveling around this fantasy realm while she's healing him turns out the hero is on a quest to find a specific magical item because someone stole this magical item if he does not have this magical item in his possession he is not able to shift to his dragon form so he's not been able to shift for quite a while and he's like so pent up about it um but he ends up falling for halani um, while they're traveling together. It's a beautiful, beautiful fantasy romance. I love this one so much. If you want like an angsty wolf shifter romance, I have The Tyrant Alpha's Rejected Mate by Casey Wells. Our heroine is like a lowly servant in this werewolf pack. And uh, one day she ends up like turning into her wolf and figures out that the alpha is her fated mate, but he publicly rejects her because he doesn't feel the bond. And he's like, oh, this woman cannot be my mate. She's mistaken. And her bond gets rejected. So she's in this immense pain. And the peck witch is like, I'll take this pain away from you. I will sever the bond between you. So she does just that. And then the hero starts to realize, wait a minute. No, I do feel something. But it might be a little bit too late because the bond is severed at that point. And he's going to grovel his butt off to make his fate of mate like fall in love with him so i love this one i need to read more in this series for sure like if you want just like angsty werewolf shifter romances like look no further than this book it was so stinking good next i have the terran soul series by cl wilson um these are i think available to read on um kindle unlimited now which is really cool they also have audiobooks um, but i have the physical copies but not with the new covers the new covers are actually really cool but i also love my og ones they have a special place in my heart all five books are about the main same couple okay it spans many books in this fantasy realm and there's a bunch of side characters and side plots and this evil villain that is absolutely horrible i hate him and that's why i haven't read the last book is because i'm terrified of him okay but i know i need to read it i want to know what happens to our two main characters so this is the romance between eliseta baristani who is this orphan human woman um and rain terran soul who's the most powerful fae to ever exist and he finds out that eliseta is his fate mate and she's like huh 
like beta mates are supposed to be equal in every way, including like power. I'm a human woman who was like abandoned in the woods as a child. I cannot be your fate mate. Like you're the most powerful fate to ever exist. So this whole series is about them falling in love with each other and like all these quests they need to perform and then this just evil villain that is absolutely awful, like I said before. The shifter part of this book is Rain. <laughs> The shifter part is something I've never read about before. He is this fey creature that can shift into this cat creature who has wings. I know, it's interesting. And then Ellie said that can ride on the back of the cat. Whenever he shifts into his form, his like winged form, I just picture him as Reese with wings. Okay, <laughs> that's what appears in my mind. Uh, but the shifter aspect in here is very, very interesting. I have two monster romance novellas because they can be really fun. So first is Crow by Layla Faye. Both of these are Layla Faye books. Um, so Crow is about this fey creature who was cursed to shift into a crow and so he shifts into a crow and he's like stalking this woman as in his crow form and then ends up falling for each other in his crow form and then he like shifts into his human form you know what i mean so it's a short monster romance novella so if you want like a crow shifter because i've never read about that before this book and then the other one by Layla fey is draco which is a dragon shifter one draco is actually also a chef who's a dragon shifter and he's a special ingredient for his food that's why people love his food so much just because there's a special ingredient in it and i'm not going to tell you what that is because that is a wild trip to learn what that special ingredient is okay um <laughs> and um the only way he can get a special ingredient is by the help of a magical uh, a human who create who possesses magic and he finds out that this heroine has been cursed and she has this magic aura around her she doesn't know that she's cursed but she has horrible luck and she's been hired to work in his restaurant recently and he's like wait a minute you have this aura about you i need you to help me and she doesn't know about magic she doesn't know about shifters so she's in for a rude awakening but draco is a dragon shifter so if you want like monster romance shifters that are really quick and fun, I recommend these two. If you want an alien one, I have Taken to Sassor by Elizabeth Stevens. It says this is book number three in the Savari Mate series, but this one is like a complete standalone with the other ones that I've read. Other characters won't even pop up from the other books. I think it maybe takes place, no, it doesn't even take place on another planet because it's on the planet Sassor. So it just has nothing to do with other books, honestly. The heroine of the story is a human woman and she is on this human settlement that gets raided by some evil aliens. And the hero who is a part of this like, almost Naga type of alien creatures end up saving her. He ends up bringing them back to his people and they end up falling in love with each other. It's that, that easy. Except it's not because he actually has to marry someone of noble standing from another tribe to unite them to make his um, like tribe even stronger. It's a little difficult for him obviously because he's falling in love with a human woman and he can't have her. It's devastating. So our hero in this book is a Naga creature. It's like, kind of like snake body, human like up, like torso up is human, like butt down is snake, I guess. And so <laughs> um, the shifter part is like, he can actually shift into the snake creature at one point, which if you don't like snakes, I don't think I'd recommend this book to you, but I've never really read like a snake shifter book. That time I got drunk and needed a love potion at a werewolf is another shifter one obviously you have a werewolf shifter and the heroine is at a bar one night and um there's this guy hitting on her she's not interested in and he just won't take no for an answer he's trying to give her this drink like just take my drink just take it she ends up just like, throwing the drink in his face he ends up ducking and the drink ends up like splashing all over this werewolf's face and um turns out there was a love potion in there and um he like takes one look at her and he's like oh my gosh you're my fate mate she's like it's just the love potion talking because she figures out there was a love potion in that drink and he's like, oh, I can feel the love potion, but like, I also know that you're my fated mate. So like, I'm all in. And he does everything to like, convince this woman that they're actually fated mates. And it's so stinking cute. It's so funny. Like Kimberly Lemming knows how to write cute, funny, like fantasy romances. Cause I was just laughing and giggling while reading this, but they're also very hot. And the last one that I have is To Ravish a Rogue by C.M. Nascosta. This one's another monster one, but it's like a monster historical. So it's like a historical romance but also like monster creatures exist and live with humans, which is actually so cool. So our hero in here is a pirate captain. And um, one day when like new crew are coming in, he notices one of the one of the deck boys, one of the boys who have been hired to work on the deck. He knows that's not, that's not a boy, he knows. <laughs> so this woman is disguising herself as a boy to get passage on the ship to go to her sister who needs her help. Um, and no one will let her get on their boat. And so she's just gonna disguise herself. And so he's gonna try and do these like funny things, like see how far he can poke the bear essentially until she explodes and admits that she's a woman. <laughs> um, so it's actually pretty funny. Um, the hero is this serpent creature that can shift into this giant serpent 
water creature and the heroine is a creature that I'm not going to tell you what she is because it's a surprise and it's very interesting so I don't want to tell you what she is but both of them are like monster shifter creatures the heroine like I've never read about anything like that in my entire life so <laughs> anyways there you have it there's some shifter romances for you let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to and if you don't feel like commenting anything else you can leave me a turtle emoji in the comment section down below but anyways thank you all so so much for watching I will see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all